Well, it is not every day that someone from the royal family gets married, and it's not every day that you may know one of the two people saying, I do. But as News 19's Nick Jones explains, a Columbia lawyer got a unique opportunity to get to know Prince Harry. If you had to put him somewhere to keep it secret, that was a good place to go. While serving in the military, danger is nothing new. Multiple firefights a day in the post and, you know, missile attacks. And so it was um, a tough area. And what I was trying to do was get Afghan security forces in to assist the British. Bill Connor has served in the military for 28 years. Back in 2007, he was serving in the South Carolina National Guard in Afghanistan. After arriving in September, he didn't know who he would come across. And my experience with him was that he uh, just wanted to be treated as, as a normal lieutenant, didn't want special privileges. And I got the idea he kind of liked being away from the uh, media um, glare and, and that kind of thing. Connor says Prince Harry served with him at one of the most dangerous bases in the Helmand province. He could have probably gone to Afghanistan, stayed in a big base, been very safe and had his SAS detail, but he uh, ditched, ditched them in the big base and went down all alone down into um, to Garmseer. So he was definitely taking the risks. To keep Prince Harry and the rest of the soldiers safe, Connor said he instructed his guys to stay quiet and keep a secret that a member of the royal family was there. He thought Prince Harry worked hard to exceed his expectations. Sometimes he'd bring his little book as he was doing the uh, Ford air control mission where he'd call in uh, airstrikes or artillery to help support the mission. And I just remember he seemed very serious about learning his job, knowing his job. What Connor will remember most about Prince Harry is him leading by example. And I think he really uh, did the royal family well in the sense of taking the risks and sacrificing, doing the hardships. And it's an example to all of us, I think. In Columbia, Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX. And be sure to stay with us for all of your royal wedding coverage. We will be on the air bright and early at 4 in the morning. CBS This Morning's Gail King, Kevin Frazier are live in London, and they will provide our coverage again. That starts at 4. The wedding is at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, our time.